So actually, the news would be carried around the world, Amen. and there was time and means for anyone anywhere on the globe to make their way to this central point where they could get aboard the ark. Right. So it was available to all, and the message of Calvary, the message of grace Amen. of the gospel is available to all. Amen. Now, in these closing moments, do you have any more parallels? This yes. is too good to stop. Uh, we discussed the window, and I call that awakening because there's plenty of light there and air yes. and ventilation. But also access, a door shalt thou make into the ark. All right. And Jesus Christ himself says, I am the door. Yes. By me, if any man enter in, he shall come in and out and, go, and find pasture. And I'm the way, the truth, and, and the life. That's right. And he didn't say one of several ways. He's exclusively the way. The way. That's right. Absolutely. You know, I've heard critics say, well, <laughs> why do you insist that Jesus is the only way? Well, first of all, I'm pleased there's any way at all. That's right. And secondly, uh, the way has to meet all the demands of righteousness and the demands of a holy God, and Jesus alone That's right. meets all of those That's demands. Right. Now, these uh, alliterative A's I love. What else do you have? Well, I love to call it amplification. He said, make it of three floors. The okay. Holy Spirit said three. He didn't say 13. He didn't right. say two. He didn't say one. Right. Three. And I believe that the three floors speak to us of three sets of triunities. Okay. I still believe in the Trinity of God. Absolutely. It's taught God in Scripture. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy I Spirit. I know all three of them in one. Amen. Yes. <laughs> God the Father is a sent, the one that's sent. God yes. the Son is the sent one. Yes. And God the Holy Spirit gave us the Bible about the sent one. Yes. But I also believe that it talks about mankind. He's a triunity. That's right. Body, soul, and spirit. Certainly. First Thessalonians tells us. Certainly. The body is what we see. The soul is the seat of emotions. Yes. God breathed into Adam's nostrils the breath of life and it became a living soul. A living soul. The uh, mind of man or the spirit of man is the faculty of understanding. We can believe in Christ a little, a little dog can't, even though we talk to our dogs. <laughs> yes, yes. But I, I, I love that. Dog. But I also think that it has reference to the threefold deliverance of a child of God in Good. 2 Corinthians 1.10. Good. He delivered us past tense. He delivers us. He will yet deliver us. That's right. He delivered he us. He died on the cross to deliver us from the penalty of sin. Yes. He lives at the right hand of Christ, of God, to deliver us from the power of from sin. From the power of practicing As sin. our high priest. One of these days, he will deliver us from the very presence from of the sin. Very presence of sin. When he comes as sin. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There's one other, Brother Carl. All right, I want to know it. And we love to think about that, and that's an invitation or access. Access. And I love the fact that the Word of God tells us regarding the word come. The first four times it's used in the Bible, it has reference to Noah and the flood and the ark. Okay. In 7 1, in Genesis 7 1, it says, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. Yes. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Yes. And Dr. Carl, I thank God that he's still in the inviting business today. Yes, he is. <laughs> and that brings us to the closing moments of this telecast. This has been so gratifying to see before us a graphic depiction of the ark. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, and I do research on the ark, this is the very finest replication of Noah's Ark available anywhere on the face of the globe. Now, having said that, as uh, Professor Eddie Atkinson has led us to see, there's so many in-depth things about this Ark and its availability and the infrastructure and the laminating technique and the three in one. And here we have the Trinity represented in Jesus Christ. For in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And as we've been led through to visually embrace this fact, the Spirit of God has led us to personally be embraced by Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, he's the one seeking us. And he's the light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. And sooner or later, he knocks at the heart of every individual that has reached the phase of accountability. Now that brings me to you. You've seen the truth illustrated. 
you've heard the truth declared that not only was there a worldwide flood, that means the Bible is literally true, but there was also the wrath, the just pent up wrath of God against mankind realized when Jesus took our place on Calvary. He already paid the price. And unless you just reject it, it's already paid for you. All you have to do is receive Christ. And in Him, Amen. you get all of the Godhead. You get all of the refuge. You get all of eternity. You get the righteousness of God. All you have to do is receive Him. You see, Jesus came. He met all the requirements of the Old Testament types. He met the personal requirements of God the Father Himself. And the Lord Jesus Christ loved our children, expressed Himself to our families, went to Calvary, actually died. And as every timber of the ark required a tree being cut down, there was a tree cut down called Calvary. And then Jesus Himself was cut off for us. He died. He was buried. He rose again. But now He's alive and ready to apply His blood and its cleansing power to you. Will you just pray this simple prayer? Just pray with me from your heart right now. Just pray, Dear God, I need you. I'm a sinner. I need Jesus to cover me with His blood. Lord Jesus, right now, I open my heart to you right now. I ask you to come in at this moment. Cover me with your blood. Cleanse my sin and be my Savior right now. Lord Jesus, I'll serve you with all my heart. If you prayed that prayer, I welcome you to the family of God. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.